Hey, uh, welcome back. This video we're fixing some bugs and also adding a procedural recall script to our weapon. Okay, so first things first, a few of you guys kindly pointed out a bug with the ammo system. So the bug is that although you can run out of ammo and stop shooting, you can keep reloading even if you have negative magazines. As you can see here. So let's fix that. In our weapon script, under right here, let's add a check for if mags or if mag is greater than zero. There we go. And this should fix this issue entirely. So now let's add some recoil. So recoil is when the gun gets pushed back as we fire. Now we could do this through an animation like the reload, but especially when we're adding lots of weapons, uh, we won't have time for that. So let's make a procedural recoil, which will have some parameters that we can adjust for each weapon, like the weight or like the strength of the recoil. And this will save us just heaps of time in the end. So let's do that. Up here, let's add a new header for recoil settings. We'll add a public float called recoil percent. And by default, let's set this to 0 0.3. And let's make the range for this between 0 and 1. And what this does here and the weapon here, it adds a slider between 0 and 1. Okay, let's keep going. Let's add another range between 0 and 2, and this will be a public float for recover percent, and let's set this to 0 0.7. Then let's add some space. And we'll add a public float for recoil up. And we'll set this to 1. And a public float for recoil back. And we'll set this to 0 for now. Next, let's add some private variables. So we'll add a private vector3 for our original position. And we'll set this in our start method, so we'll set original position equal to transform dot position. There we go. And let's also add a private vector three for recoil velocity. And this will be vector three dot zero. Also let's add a private boolean for recoiling and a private boolean for recovering. And this should be it. Let's add two functions here. The first one will be recoil. And they'll be very similar to each other, so we'll copy and paste them. In here, we'll make a new vector three called final position. And we'll set this equal to, and we'll set this equal to a new vector three of original position dot x, original position dot y, plus recoil up, and then original position dot z, minus recoil back. Then we'll set transform dot local position equal to vector3 dot smooth the damp from transform dot local position to our final position with a reference to our recoil velocity. There we go. And then we'll pass in our recoil. Now we need a new float here. So we'll add two more private floats. One called private float recoil length. 
and then a private float for recover length. Now in this start method, we'll set recoil length to be equal to 1 divided by fire rate times our recoil percent and then we'll set our recover length, so recover length equal to 1 divided by fire rate times our recover percent. There we go. And in here we'll pass in, since we're recoiling, we'll pass in our recoil length. There we go. And at the very end here, if transform the local position is equal to our final position, we've finished recoiling, so we'll set recoiling equal to false and recovering equal to true. Now let's copy and paste this method and just double check to make sure everything's right when you do this. We'll name this one recovering. We'll set our final position equal to our original position. And down here, we'll set recoiling to false and recovering to false. Okay. Also, let's change this to recover length. Now up in this update method, we'll make some checks. So if recoiling we'll call our recoil method and if recovering we'll call our recover method. Okay. Now in this fire method we'll set recoiling equal to true and recovering equals to false and this should be all that we need so let's test this out oh okay <laughs> okay so i found the issue in our start method we set our original position to transform the position this needs to be transformed the local position let's just change this to zero And we'll remove this. Yeah, and this is working pretty well. We can obviously mess with the settings here. Like making the up recoil a little less. Maybe making it kick back a little more. Yeah, and this is fantastic. Alright. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye.